Okay, so five is get alive. And this has to do with uh, not looking for God's will anymore, but uh, taking some responsibility and building your life structures around the new values that you have, uh, and which are going to be different, hopefully, from some of the old values, which are mostly around safety and security, if you actually look at what the values are. They're mostly about safety and security, and hopefully now you'll have uh, values that are more around growth and being who you really are, express, expression, creativity, connections on a human deeper level, honesty, integrity, um, and we'll look at some of those in a minute. But building your life around the values that you've chosen instead of what you've been handed down by parents or which have been imposed on you by authority, and develop your identity. Um, Create the life that works for you in work, family, leisure, social, all the areas of commitment that make your life structure. Venture into the world, world, uh, for some new experiences and for some new friends. See what that, see what that's like. And. Get up to speed. I, I thought this could be another one, but right now I've folded it into this. Get up to speed on some uh, some skills that you need, like uh, being able to learn communication skills, for example. That was a big one for me. Learning how to listen and be empathic instead of just telling people what the truth is, but you know to to learn how to reciprocate and have human relationships that are mutually respectful. Um, Social skills. <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there are a lot of skills that people need as they're growing up and developing. And uh, sometimes if you're in the, the, the safe enclosure of a religion, you just don't develop those skills. It's so like having I mean, training like, wheels on all the time. Yeah, there's this developmental yeah. delay. So I often hear from people who have left their religion that they feel really young, they feel like a small child mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, they feel, I mean, there's always something frightening about job seeking if it's not looking for God's will. Uh, there's something frightening about making friends with people that aren't Christians. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there's some, some time that's required to just get up to speed. Um, but this is this is mostly about getting your life together, like saying, okay, it's my life, what can I do? It's, and so uh, there's the responsibility of that, which sounds kind of heavy, but there's also the relief of that and the joy of that, mm. right? Having some choices is also exciting, it's not just a, a, a burden. And six is... Get with the program. And by this I mean accept the idea that Earth is your home, that humanity is your true family. Consider participating in larger concerns, such as caring for the environment or working for social change. Let go of expecting God to fix all of our problems. And I'm talking about the larger context now, not just your mm -hmm. personal life. And join others as they work to make the world a better place. So in other words, welcome to Earth. This is your home. So what, what, how, how do you want to think about that? How do you want to construe that? Do you want to participate or not? I mean, you know, but this is not like a requirement, but you know, if we're all trashing the earth in the way of uh, you know whatever what we're doing to the environment, we're in this together. Not, we're, there's nobody coming to rescue uh, a select few out of here, and then the earth's going to burn. You know, if, if that's if that's the case, then how do you how do you feel about that, and what's your response to that? Uh, seven is
get your groove on. <laughs> and this means reclaiming pleasure, reclaiming sensation, um, learning to enjoy this life now, practice being here now, uh, discovering all the ways to appreciate nature. Hey, nature isn't fallen. It's, everything isn't so imperfect and awful. There's some amazing, wonderful things all around us. And even though we have problems and the, work, the earth is imperfect and a lot of things are impermanent, still there are a lot of pretty amazing things. So instead of looking at it always as the work of the creator or the work of an artist or, oh, didn't God do a good job on this leaf? You can simply look at the leaf and, and take it in and appreciate it. And when you start doing that, there's something more direct about that. And there's something very profound and wonderful about just, uh, just being here and being a part of things. And, uh, and you know, when you taste a strawberry, taste it. So, and when you have sex, have sex, you know, don't worry about God watching you. <laughs> And, and part of this is also, um, be a good animal. Uh, I, find, I, I found that concept to be incredibly liberating, you know, because uh, animals are not worried about whether they're sinning or you know, breaking commandments or what's going to happen after they die, right? Um, and they're not judging each other and judging themselves. Uh, it's not, and Christians don't have a, a hold on, on judging. I, have a plan. I was joking about a cat laying there in the sun thinking, oh, I'm so lazy, I really should get something done. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, get your groove on is, you know, find out what makes you happy and do it. Uh, the research on happiness shows that it is a combination of things. It's a combination. It's not just pleasure, but pleasure is a part of it. It's basically three things. It's, it's being able to enjoy yourself and have pl take pleasure in things. Uh, and it's also um, uh, engaging with something in your life. So that's like part of get a life, you know, to find things that are really captivating for you. The sense of flow, you've heard that, that maybe. Like when you're really doing something that's gotten you uh, captivated that you lose track of time. A lot of uh, art is like that, but other things can be like that. And then the third thing is meaning, to find some way of uh, creating meaning in your life. And sometimes it's, it's enjoying with others to do things that you consider meaningful. Um, uh, a, a lot of times it's making sure that you're giving back, you're doing for others as well, and so that you are more than just you, you know, you're... Uh, you have a sense of being part of uh, something larger. <laughs> <laughs>